man, oh man. Am I going to catch slack for this one? Good morning, good morning. Today, you're going to get a video that I have yet to even record, and I'm already regretting. But what I do ask you is, I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section about the topic I'm about to touch. So, clearly, we're in a drought. As you can see, all the grass that we had stockpiled has turned into standing hay. It's just completely dry. And I've seen many people, many channels, talk about the drought and drought management. So I'll leave that to the experts. As you know, I am no expert. I'm just a guy trying to do with what he has. But I have yet to see anyone talk about the reason why we're having this constant drought all widespread through the United States. And I'm going to show you the reason. In my humble opinion, it's all these chemtrails, weather manipulation, weather control, cloud seeding, however the heck, harp, however you want to call it. That is the reason why we're having this drought. I've been tracking this chemtrail thing for years now. And up till about last year, the frequency in which planes were dropping whatever the hell they're dropping on us was incredible. You were ba basically guaranteed to see one of the planes spraying something if you just looked up to the sky long enough on any given day. I've noticed that for the past four or five months, I haven't seen a plane in these skies spraying, which tells me that the skies are reacting to whatever the heck is it that they're doing in a negative way. Now. We can speculate about the reasons why that's done. I have my reasons, but I'd much rather read yours in the comment section because I'm highly interested to see how you guys that follow this channel, and if you are a newcomer, welcome. Quite the video to get introduced to our channel. But go ahead and subscribe. You may find it interesting. Anyways, um, that said, you know, the drought is here. And we're having to manage. Things are negative, negatively compounding. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So fuel prices have made it quite difficult for farmers to hay. Just because of the price of turning on them tractors to process the hay. And now drought has made the grass supply much much thinner, smaller than it used to be. Which means that come fall, if you thought that hay was gonna be 50, 60 dollars a bale, you might wanna tack another 20 bucks to that. And hay may be 80, 90 dollars a bale. Now, I'm gonna make some math for you. I'm gonna to try to do the math if I remember when I'm editing on the screen of what that means to a small tiny operation like this. We have 17 head here. We have 12 heifers, one bull and four steers. And last year with just 14 of them, we had to feed about 110 bales of hay throughout the season, including the drought. Now the drought didn't start till way later in the season. I didn't have to start rolling hay till about October. At the pace we're going right now, that might make it mid-August, perhaps early September when we start rolling hay. So normally on an operation like this, you'll start on rolling hay maybe in December. So tack another four months at a half a bale per day. That's another 60 bales of hay that we may have to feed this crowd here of beautiful animals, which at about $80, 
I'm not going to try to play math here, but I will show it for you in the screen. And that means that that much additional expense is going to have to be incurred in order to keep these ladies and boys fed throughout the year and continue operating. Now, small operation really doesn't have much of an impact. Yeah, a couple grand. Thankfully, we've been blessed and our most high has provided for us to be able to do that. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now, imagine a larger operation. Imagine an operation with 100, 200, maybe 300 head. And let's do the same math. I'll try to put it right here on the screen. And you'll see how prices have to skyrocket on beef in order for these producers to be able to even come to break even and sustain their operation throughout this year. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because a lot of people look at these chemtrail um, auditors or channels that only talk about chemtrails and they tend to call them, you know, conspiracy theorists and people don't quite see the direct effect on their lives of what's happening because it's the slow boil type of thing. But once you start messing with nature, then bad things are just prone to happen. And I think that that's what we're getting ready to see here for the next couple of months. Just very bad things happening just because we are breaking nature's ability and cycle to do what it, it, it's designed to do by the creator. So I'm, I'm going to keep this one short, but I really would love to see your comments in the comment section. And perhaps you think that there might be a different reason. I know folks in the East Coast are in a drought. I know folks in the Midwest are in a drought. I know folks in the South are in a drought. And clearly, the West, as usual, they're in a drought. So leave your comment in the comment section and let us know what you think it's happening. Let us know what you think that even in, why in Europe I've seen they're going through a pretty nasty drought as well. With that said, as you can see, the animals are doing very well. The cows, some of them are limping on their back legs which means that our bull is been doing his thing and we'll watch it. We'll make sure that it doesn't get out of control. But as soon as they go out of heat, he will be off of them. And so they'll have time to recuperate. Anyways, with that said, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and share with your friends and we'll see you in the next one.